Chase, they're not the only team to go sure. back to back here at Sun Devil Stadium. The Highland Hawks taking on Pinnacle in the 6A title game. Let's get you out there. <laughs> Here come the Highland Hawks, the defending 6A state champions facing the Pinnacle Pioneers in a regular season rematch. The Hawks defense making a statement early. Bertrand Berry, son of the former Cardinals defensive end, with the strip sack and Highland recovers. And the Hawks capitalize on the turnover. That's Cody Cullimore making it 7-0 Highland. But the Pioneers respond. Wyatt Horton dropping a dime to Deuce Robinson, who powers his way into the end zone. But Highland fires back. Watch Chance Coffin bouncing to the outside to extend Highland's lead. Pinnacle would end up on top at halftime, though, as Horton connects with Miles Libman for three touchdown passes back to back to back, giving the Pioneers a 26 to 14 lead in the third quarter. But the rest of the game was all Highland. Watch Eli Kirby cutting the deficit with this monster 66 yard touchdown run in the third quarter. Now, Kalen Fisher connects with Joseph. Walter in the fourth, scoring the go-ahead touchdown for the Hawks. And the Highland defense shutting the door with a pick six from Cole Crandall, who capped off the game with another interception. The Highland Hawks go back-to-back -back in 6A after a 37-26 win over Pinnacle. Time to party with head coach Brock Farrell and his champs. All right, Coach, I'm four for four. Like I said, you should come to more of these. <laughs> well, if you guys keep winning the way you have, we'll definitely be coming to more. How good does this feel for you and your guys to be going back to back in 6A? Yeah, I'm just excited for our whole program, our, all of our kids. Like, um, from the disappointment of not making it to just turning the page and do, uh, winning the games that are in front of us, uh, I'm so happy for this group and the way they bat battled and persevered. And you got a young young quarterback here, Kalen. I mean, how were you able to maintain your composure under pressure in such a big stage? Um, just believing in my team, believing that we could do what we needed to do to get to our home, get to where we needed to be. And your defense, I mean, Cole, uh, all the guys making all the big plays, uh, Chance, how impressed with how you closed out the game were you? You know, that's Highland football. We, we have elite level defense. Our guys take pride in what they do. And quite honestly, I, that's how I wanted to end. With a one point lead with our defense on the field, uh, I knew they would pull it out. They're a great group, man. Cody, how does this feel? You've been putting on a show for us on Friday Night Fever all season long, but how does this moment feel right now? I mean, it's amazing. This is what we've been working for all year. Uh, after last year's state championship, uh, this was our goal. We all had it in mind, and it just came true. It's awesome. All right, Coach, I know you got some hardware here, but we got to ask because we're kind of famous for the dance moves on the fever. <laughs> Can we get a championship gritty out of Coach, guys? What do you think? Oh, yeah. Oh, boy, here we go. Here oh, yeah. we go. All right, Coach, break it down for us. You know we love to get the coaches dancing yep. on the F and F. We want to give a congratulations to head coach Dana Zupke and his pioneers on a remarkable season. But it is rare that we see programs go back to back. So big one for the Hawks today. Yeah, Wyatt Horton's gonna be a tough QB for yeah. them, by the way. Let's